Let's do what's do what's say nine. Well, I want to talk about the He-Man movie for a minute. Um, I haven't really paid much attention to this because I didn't have a lot of enthusiasm after, after I heard the initial um, description of um, the story and what the film was going to be. Uh, but in the meantime, there's been some casting announcements, and I did um, talk about um, Nicholas uh, Glatzine, or his name is Glatzine, I can't pronounce his name. Um, a lot of people were sceptical about him being cast in the role, but after I saw him in a couple of films, I thought he was quite charming and interesting and can act, and um, all they have to do is get him to the gym, and even if that doesn't work, they can use CGI or you know camera effects or something to make him look bigger than he is. Um, I don't think it's a huge problem. Um, I think he can pull it off. So that wasn't an issue. Not the first choice, but a lot of people just see He-Man as muscle. And, like, the character is more than just that. You can fake that. You can build that around a real actor. But if you don't have the actual actor in, in there, all you get is, like, a, a bodybuilder dressing up in cosplay as He-Man, and we don't need that. So I'm okay with him. Then we had um, Camila Mendez was announced as um, Teela. Now, this was about two weeks ago. And at first I was like, yeah, I can see that. She's fine. She was in um, Riverdale. She, play, she played Veronica. She um, had a really strong personality. And I'm like, with some, you know, some hair dye, I could see her playing Tila. I have no issue there. And she's excited about it. So that's good. I meant to comment on that, but I just couldn't dredge up the enthusiasm because my enthusiasm for the film as a whole is not good. Now, the other rumor that I just heard um, from Mega J Retro, where, or Nega, Day, Nega J Retro, um, and it's coming from Fort Eternia via Giant Freaking Robot. The rumor has been for a little while that Sasha Baron Cohen is going to be playing Skeletor. Now, I know initially people are like horrified at that, and it could go really bad. It could be him doing his Frank Welker version of Borat. It could be an absolute nightmare. They could make a complete joke out of the film, make it absolutely just cringe and embarrassing. Or because this man can actually act. He has actually played characters. Um, he could do a Skeletor with a maniacally comical edge that really is kind of chilling and could work. I, I, I actually have a little bit of faith that he could pull this off if it's done in the right way. But again, it also could just go totally in the wrong way. So uh, part of me is, my initial reaction was, ooh, I could see him doing a dark version of Skeletor that still has that um, vicious sort of, you know, humour to him. Um, but then, yeah, yeah, it could go Borat, so I just, I really don't know. But, um, so that was interesting. I didn't talk about it at the time, and I just heard that rumour, so I had to talk about that. But, um, the main issue for me is, of course, the story itself. It just sounds so bad. It sounds like a cheap way to, to save actually basing the movie on Eternia and spending any money and doing any world building or giving us what we actually want to see, which is Eternia in live action. We barely saw it in the other He-Man movie. We got quite a lot of scenes in Castle Grayskull, but not much on Eternia, and most of it was on Earth. But they pulled it off with that one. I don't know why I love that film. But this film, the story is a 10-year-old Adam crashes on Earth in a spaceship, He's separated from his power sword for 20 years, lives on Earth as a regular human, eventually finds a power sword and gets whisked back to Eternia to work out, you know, the, the secrets of the sword and castle Grayskull and, and become He-Man so that he can defeat Skeletor. Um, which sounds to me like just budget saving, just set it on Earth, have hu basically human actors playing human characters for the most part, and then, like maybe bookending the film on Eternia, or maybe just the end is set on Eternia and we basically spend the bulk of the film on Earth just with human dramas so that, you know, the regular people can relate to it because they don't want to set it on Eternia with all these characters. It might be a bit too much for the general audience, so let's just make it really generic and really... Yeah, so I just... Uh, I have no faith in them doing that. If that's just the setup for the film and then the most of the film is him being on... Uh, on Eternia trying to work out how, what the Castle Grayskull secrets are and the power of the sword and becoming He-Man, that could be interesting. But um, he doesn't need to go to Earth for 20 years for that to happen. He could have just done that as a teenager. So it doesn't make any sense. I don't have any confidence or any faith in it. And I remember the earlier story that I heard they were going to do with the film was going to be an army, American army man crashes on Eternia, finds the power sword, 
and basically um, becomes a ruler of Eternia and becomes he man and king of Eternia and everything. And that just was so pro military and so pro America, it made me a little sick. But at least it would have been based all on Eternia, and we maybe would have seen a lot of Eternia and a lot of the characters, and um, it might have even been better. Um, just because we actually got to see Eternia and got to spend some time on there, whereas this one sounds like we're just going to be on Earth with. Adam growing up on Earth, and then at the end he ends up going to Eternia, and it's like a fish out of water when he's there, and that's like, it's just, I just, it, why? It doesn't make any sense, it doesn't sound good, I just, there's other cheaper ways to make this film than, than to base it on Earth around humans, so yeah. Um, so casting news is interesting, but um, my excitement for the film overall is like, I can watch plenty of films, you know, on Earth. I want to see Eternia. I want to see He-Man. I want to see Master Universe. And I don't think we... I'm not... I don't know what we're going to get in this film. I really don't know. 